Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain cellular network concepts. So, before discussing cellular network, uh, let's discuss a traditional approach which were in use before cellular network. So, in this approach, uh, there were only a, a single transmitter uh, which installed on a very high location, and that only one station uh, cover entire region. So the range of the signal for that transmitter was up to 50 km and this system achieved good coverage because we are having a, only one transmitter and this one in order to cover a good amount of region in order to cover this range this transmitter need lot of power. So these are the uh, points of this traditional approach single transmitter but very powerful and only one transmitter used to cover entire region now the problem with uh, this approach was if a frequency used in the region of this coverage that same frequency cannot be reused by other users so frequency reuse concept cannot be used in this situation second this transmission need to be very powerful if this is not powerful it cannot, cannot cover entire region now uh, what cellular network suggested cellular network suggested that instead of having a single transmitter why we don't go for multiple transmitter emitter with low power so uh, in cellular network instead of having a single transmitter a single station we are having a multiple station now these station are not as powerful as uh, we have seen in the previous slide so these transmitters are less powerful they are having less power so because of this reason they can cover a particular area of a region so this hexagonal shape is actually showing which area they can they are covering so this station is covering this area this station is covering this area this station is covering this area so in cellular network we are having multiple transmitters so instead of use, uh, using single powerful transmitter use multiple low power transmitter these transmitter actually used for transmitting and receiving both purpose so this is also known as trans receivers and we call them base station now every base station if you look at the gsm network so these bts these bts can cover only a particular area and this circle is showing that range so that area is known as cell so this station is uh, responsible for covering this area so this is cell one cell this is second cell third cell fourth cell now if we are having uh, some frequency let's say that total frequency is t and we are having four base station so every base station will be getting t by 4 frequency okay so uh, channel per bts so uh, if you want to find out how many channels we are having in per cell so first we will find out what is the portion of frequency allocated for one cell so formula for that one available bandwidth number of station so it will give us num uh, frequency amount which is allocated per cell now how much frequency required by one channel so that thing if available we will divide that number by the avail uh, allocated frequency in one cell and it will give us number of channel in per cell so this one we have already discussed coverage range of base station also known as cell now when we are having multiple base station as you can see in this example and our user is mobile a user is talking while he is driving the car so some point of time that user is connected to this base station here this is connected to this base station here this is connected to this base station so when a user change its location when he moves from one cell to another cell so another cell base station has to handle now traffic of this user so this thing uh, complicate the cellular network a little bit so this thing also known as we will study this one under handoff 
and the another thing uh, when we are having a multiple base station so these base station at their boundary their frequency actually interfere there will be some interference so in order to remove this interference frequency in adjacent cell has to be different if they will use same frequency in adjacent cell there will be a interference so same frequency should not be used in adjacent cell so these are the points uh, which we have discussed so far in cellular network instead of using single powerful transmitter use multiple multiple low power transmitter these transmission uh, transmitter also known as cell every sorry these transmitter also known as base station every base station can cover a particular area of a region that area is known as cell and channel of neighboring cell it means frequency allotted to this cell and frequency allotted to this cell has to be different otherwise there will be a interference now uh, here uh, i will explain why this hexagonal shape is considered to represent a cell so there are some criteria uh, like which cell has to be used so these are the three criteria first criteria uh, whatever shape you are selecting if we use those shape multiple times there should not be any overlapping in order to cover entire region second it has to be a geometric shape like square rectangle circle and third area of cell so whatever shape we are selecting it should cover maximum area so let's see we are having the uh, possible options there are other options as well but we are going to discuss only these one so if we go for circle if you try to cover entire area there will be overlapping so that's why this option will be rejected here itself in case of triangle there won't be any overlapping hexagonal no overlapping square no overlapping so now we are left with three options now it uh, all these three are geometric shape so second criteria also fulfilled now we are going for area so uh, in terms of area this shape provide maximum coverage but this option is already rejected so we are considering area of the shape as compared to circle so this triangle can cover this percent of area of that circle hexagonal can cover 83 and square can cover 63 so hexagonal hexagonal shape if used to represent cell it can cover maximum area so that's why hexagonal shape is selected to represent a cell now why cellular so there is a advantage of cellular network that if there uh, is an increment in demand like uh, if the number of user will increase traffic will also increase and in order to resolve this problem more base station can be installed without buying extra frequency so how this is possible so there are concept of frequency reuse a frequency which is used in a cell same frequency can be used in another cell if distance between these two cell is a particular uh, there is a criteria actually the, that if you are going to re reuse a frequency in another cell they must fulfill a criteria so we will discuss that formula how to find out that dis distance so scalability issue can be handled in cellular network very easily so like uh, if the here it is showing like we are having a base station here and uh, we came to know that number of users are increasing so we installed one more base station and we have used same frequency in that cell and we are assuming that signal of these two base station will not interfere it means this distance has to be uh, large enough so that their signal will, will not interfere this same frequency can be used here the same frequency can be 
used here so in cellular network there is a big advantage of frequency reuse okay uh, frequency ca channels can be reused this is a very big advantage and this is distributed throughout the geographic region there is no single transmitter who is handling entire traffic there are multiple base station so there is no central control like uh, if we uh, see this point use of several carrier frequency not the same frequency in ad adjoining cell so uh, if a frequency is used here that same frequency we can reuse in another cell uh, far enough so that there won't be any interference but it should not be used in adjacent cell uh, hexagonal shape of cell it idolized we have already seen why and if a mobile user changes cell there will be a handoff handover okay so we have seen these points so the problem problem is that first thing as the number of base station will increase uh, when user will be on active call and he is moving from one cell to another cell so there will be a overhead for transferring an active call from one base station to another base station so this process is actually known as handover and second one interference with other cell so before going to reuse a frequency we have to first uh, see whether two co-channel cells are far enough or not now let's see this handoff concept as well so we are having this example let's say user is driving and right now he is here and he is on the call so right now he is connected to this base station and while he is driving when he entered in another base station his call will be transferred or his call will be handled now by this base station so transferring an active call from one base station to another base station is known as handoff okay it can be active call or it can be active data a data session so whenever there will be a transferring from one base station to another base station this is known as handoff and we are having two types of handoff hard handoff soft handoff in hard handoff uh, let's say this example then uh, it will make this concept clear to you right now a user is here he is connected to this base station uh, sorry so when he move to another cell so what will happen first this connection will be broken and then this new connection will be established so you can remember this one like break before make so in uh, th this base station will start handling its traffic once this is disconnected from the old base station so this is the hard handoff and soft handoff in soft handoff when a user move from one base station to another base station so at the boundary of cell this uh, user will start getting signal from be, uh, a new base station and as that user moves to this cell signal of previous base station will become weaker so what will happen that uh, user will be connected to this base station mobile device mobile node that will be connected to this base station once this connection is done at that time this connection will be broken so here before breaking the old connection a new connection has to be established and uh, as it's written there it's more costly than hard handoff why because there will be a situation where one user will be connected to two base station and in order to do that it needs two different frequency so because of this requirement this is costly than hard handoff thank you very much for watching in next the lecture I will explain how to uh, frequency can be reused in cellular network.